Okay, here we are in After Effects. A sec, uh, I've just got a blank com. Here we are in After Effects. I've got a blank com composition here. Um, I'm just going to quickly bring in the first frame of the render just to do a comp test. It's quite good to just do one frame first to test render before you do the batch render actually. Um, so then you can, if you get it looking good with one, you go on, you know the lighting's working and stuff, and you've comp comped it as well, then you can go on and do the full render. A uh, good little tip that. So I'm gonna make a solid. Get the blue one. It's blue. Drop that behind. So now you can see the shadow. I wish I had done a different colour for the turntable there, but it's fine. Um, there's a little bit of a drop cut off there. You can see well, that's where the plane ended with the shadow. So you know with the ground plane we made, the shadow catcher. So that's something to look out for. Let's make a bit bigger so the light. Kind of fades off in the distance. I can fix that with a quick mask in here anyway. So I'll fix that at the end. Uh, quite like to add a vignette. So a CC vignette. Just apply it to the blue background. Well, that does it just kind of highlights the character a little more. Actually helps mask out that as well. You see it's darker on the edges, so it just makes the focus on the subject a bit more. Another way I can do that as well is looking back at my Toy Story reference. I really like to kind of highlight behind the subject. So that, that glow on the backdrop. I'm just gonna leave this down here as well as a bit of reference. So what I do here then is I create another solid. Make it a white one this time. And that's going over the blue one. And I'll get a ellipse tool, one of the shape tools here. Hold down shift to make a perfect circle. Just make that there. And then just slightly just position that in the middle. And then come down to the mask settings and I'll do a nice big feather of that. So it's way too bright, so let's bring down the opacity of it. Really quite low actually. It's quite subtle. And then it just highlights are even more, I think. Quite like that. To show you the difference with it or without, you might prefer it without. Or even we might want to just lift it up a bit more. Could even make it smaller. If you want to. Anything you want really. That's looking pretty nice. Uh, like I said, I could just get rid of that a little bit of a drop off. It's bugging me here, so I'll grab my pen tool. So I'll just get rid of the whole thing. We're just going to subtract rather than add feather. that there. Cool. So the last thing I want to do is I just want to make the character's colours a bit more vibrant and stuff. So let's add start of the levels. Zoom in on it. Nice contrast, but I just want to pop the highlights a bit more, crush the shadows. I quite like to use color balance and just enhance some of those blue tones and red tones, make it a bit warmer. Pop the blues a bit more. 
and levels up a bit too much. And yeah, so you can just test, see what the, the difference is. Quite like getting a bit of blue coming off there. Kind of grids all together a bit. So just went for the mid tones there. You can have a mess around the roof as well. Kind of bedroom scene a bit more. And that's kind of all I do really. Nice soft lighting. And I'll be ready to export that and finish up.